today i will explain you how to use a regulated dc power supply and so while doing connection with your circuit diagram so first let us switch on the power supply this is power button okay so uh, this is dual power supply it has two supply single supply this section is one supply and the other side is another power supply you can use uh, dual power supply or you can use the single power supply also in this power supply if you have a knob v and a i if you keep your knob towards left so you can measure the voltage this is called as voltage knob when power supply is set to two v mode uh, it is controlling the output voltage so you can adjust voltage level while current output remains constant so this is called as a v mode if you keep your knob towards right then it acts as a current mode so when power supply is set to be current mode in current mode it mainly controlling the output current so in this mode you can adjust the output current level while the output voltage is regulated to a constant value now in all our experiments we used to control the output voltage so always keep this knob towards left that is in a voltage knob so in the same way the for the second power supply also if you are measuring voltage or if you are working on a voltage keep the knob in voltage mode so if you want in a current mode you can keep in the uh, knob in the current mode but in all electronic experiment we keep the voltage knob towards left that is voltage knob this is about v or a i knob next comes to voltage knob now uh, you have two knobs to measure the voltage here it is written voltage one is coarse knob another one is a fine knob what do you mean by coarse knob it is used to make large changes to the output voltage of the power supply by rotating this knob you can quickly increase or decrease the output voltage by rotating the coarse knob similarly you have a fine knob fine knob so it allows you to make small changes or a precise adjustment to the voltage level we can fine tune the output voltage to the exact value required for example if you want 2.5 so now it is showing 2.4 so with the help of fine knob see you can increase this fine knob to get the precise value 2.5 so this is the use of fine knob and a coarse knob and before switching on the power supply always keep the voltage knob in a minimum mode and current knob in a maximum mode this is very very important so always keep the voltage knob in a minimum position it should uh, show zero that is leftmost position minimum position and current knob in a maximum this side clockwise direction is maximum anti clockwise is minimum always you should keep the current knob in maximum position and voltage knob in a minimum position now with the help of multimeter we will measure some voltage from the power supply to measure if you want to measure voltage from the multimeter you should keep the multimeter in dc mode because we we are measuring the dc voltage i'll keep this in a 20 volts and we should do the connection red cord should goes to voltage and black one you should connect it to common point common terminal this is red is indicates positive voltage and black indicates common that is ground now i'll adjust some voltage in the power supply for example 2 volts okay now we will measure this voltage from the multimeter so how much it is showing in power supply it is showing 2.0 and in multimeter it is showing 1.86 volts okay even though we have adjusted voltage in power supply is 2.0 and multi in multimeter we are getting it is 1.86 volts 
this voltage drop occurs due to internal resistance in a power supply or resistance connected in a wires so the resistance in connecting wires these small voltage drop can cause a difference between set voltage of an power supply and measured voltage of an multimeter now there is one indicator here o slash l overload indicator on both the supply it is showing o slash l so what is the meaning of this overload indication if the load connected to the power supply if it is drawing more current than the power supply can provide if the power supply is providing some current but if your load is drawing more current than the power supply can provide then the overload indication occurs and in another case also the overload indication occurs that case is short circuit so if the short circuit occurs in the circuit connected in a power supply the current can exceed the power supply maximum capacity in such condition also the overload indication turns on so from this single power supply so we will get maximum 30 volts with the help of course now if you keep on increase i will get maximum 30 volts here in the same manner that side also we will get 30 volts maximum 30 volts i'll get from this power supply in the same manner here also i'll get maximum 30 volts and one more thing you should learn so uh, uh, if i want to use these two power supply in a series connection so how to do this so first you should connect uh, the positive terminal of the supply to your load and negative terminal of this supply should goes to positive terminal of the second supply and negative terminal of the second supply should be connected to the load it is like this connecting the load between uh, positive and negative of the second supply so this negative and this positive should be connected in series in order to get 60 volts this is giving 30 volts this is giving 30 volts to get to total 60 volts you should connect in a series how to connect in series load one end should goes to positive supply negative of this and positive of this should be shorted and negative of the second supply should go to the load so now we will get we, we are making the dual supply as a single supply of 60 volts or else in your any of the experiments we are not using 60 volts anywhere we use only single power supply so you can use only single power supply red and a black terminal on the other side this one other second power supply red and a black terminal from this power supply we will get 30 volts and from this supply also we will get 30 volts so thank you lavanya second semi and c department and shanta 6 semi and c department for helping me to conduct this experiment thank you